We're here today with Dave Walcott, who invented this uh, attachment to put on the front of planters on uh, the drive wheel rows or on uh, the wing rows uh, of the planters so that uh, when they're running on top of corn stalks and things, they're not chewing up the tires. Dave has uh, a stock roller on the front of his tractor to protect the tractor tires, but he had nothing on the planter for the uh, wheels that are lifting and driving the planter. So he invented this and uh, asked us to market it for him and this is what we're doing. Um, Dave, you wanna talk a little bit about this? I, one of these deals, you, you think about it and trying to figure out a way to better improve your equipment and have better tire life with the no-till operation we are. We're 100% no-till, so everything we run in corn stalks, wheat stubble, bean stubble, I mean, we got to have a way in order to protect these tires as much as we can. Um, a lot of these companies are putting on new tires and stuff on these planters, and those tires need some curing time. I know on tractor tires, when you run on uh, run old tractor tires on stock rows, they don't get beat up as bad or get uh, holes punched in them. Like when you put on a brand new set of tires on that tractor and you go to the field and a partial season, they look like they've been on there for eight or 10 years. And this is what we're trying to prevent because a lot of these new planters have new tires and they need a curing process. So those tires need to go through about a year's time uh, to cure out so they get hard so that stalks and, and uh, things don't uh, puncture them or beat them up as bad. And so this is what uh, they've come up with. Corn hybrids we got today have got a lot stouter, stronger stock, so which they make a really aggressive, tear up your tires a lot quicker than what they used to you know, 10, 15, 20 years ago. So, yeah, they're like tree branches out there. Yeah, You're trying yeah. to it's like drive over tree branches with a tire. Right. And that was a question I was going to ask you about, you know, these stocks, these corn companies are building uh, into their genetics, these heavy duty corn stocks. So the corn borer and, and different uh, insects can't destroy them. So then we're having to put up with those stocks the following season and it's hard on on everything so go ahead dave runs a rolling mechanism on the front of his tractor to prevent uh, stocks from beating up the tractor tire rows and in last year he said i'm constantly having to change these uh, drive wheels on my planter um, every few years uh, because the stocks or i have flat tires because stocks are poking holes in them and so this is what he come up with and it's uh, I'll let Dave talk about this go ahead Dave Walcott well the reason I you know I come up with this in the middle of the night one night uh, there's got to be a way of saving these tires so I kind of started doing some brainstorming the next day I went out and we started building something but we ran into a snag because on a, on a folding corn planter pull type planter you got very little room so you have to make it really tight in order to get everything to work right but you need it to be stout enough in order to bend the, them tough corn stalks over especially as short in the way some of these stalks are nowadays with the hybrids we got and uh, this is kind of a prototype right now uh, we're coming with a new one here in the near future uh, we have a uh, uh, pivot bushings in here Kind of like a torsion bar on a uh, axles on a horse trailer or cattle trailer and uh, so this thing is constantly flexing back and forth as you go through the field as it hits those stocks and it doesn't rip it off we're using a double uh, torsion axle in there um, and so it's giving it double strength so that it doesn't bend uh, right or left when you do hit a, a ditch or go up over in a terrace at an angle and catch one side. So this is gonna be a lot stronger uh, unit because of the double torsion axle on it. Yeah, and so, we, so our operation, what we do, like Paul was saying earlier, we move over exactly 15 inches on our no-till ground. So a lot of our old stocks are gonna be in this middle six inches. That's where your, like your lift arms on your pull-type planters are. 
even like on your mounted uh, three-point planters, you're going to have those drive wheels there if you're doing the same kind of operation with strip till or just strictly no-till. Uh, reason we use the round bar other than the square bar is if you're going in tough situations with tough corn stalks early in the morning, you know, late at night, you know, we can get, get those stalks that are not wrapping. Uh, we do have tendencies when we get into large, heavy, you know, corn stalks that we do have some, but on a round pipe, they'll come off a lot easier versus a square one. This is actually designed too, so if you go through a ditch, drop your wing into a ditch this will fold clear back to your lift wing or your wing lift wheels plus if you do happen to have a backward if you back up for some reason and it catches something it will actually bend forward too it'll swing forward as much as it'll swing backwards like paul was saying in our operation we do a lot of terrace ground so we do go up and over terraces at all different angles uh, we got into the scenarios where the terraces are big enough, this will actually drag on the ground even though on standard flat ground it's five inches off the ground. Um, so one side might catch and the other side doesn't. With the, the amount of strength we got between the two of them, it won't twist or bend. Yeah. And about how high off the ground did you run this last year? We ran these at right at five inches with the planter totally lowered to the ground. Uh, that gives us enough clearance for those little ditches so it don't drag. Um, even with the torsion bar, this actually is supposed to be at like a one or two degree forward pitch to help bend those tougher stocks, but yet it will swing back. Um, I did go through some ditches last year with the prototype and folded them clear back against the lift arms on the wing wheels of our 24 row planter and nothing really did bend. Good. And we're building one now where on different types of planters, Case IH is going to take a different mounting uh, mechanism in here. Uh, we're going to try and keep this the same up here so that when uh, you call us on a particular planter, all we have to do is provide you with the tube that's going to fit your particular planter and then send it and then you can bolt it on and, and you don't have to do farmer modifications in the field to get things to work. So we're going to try and uh, accommodate most planters with one basic unit. So this is going to make it simpler, keep our costs down and keep your costs down.